I wanted to bring to your attention this horrible case that happened just Friday at 2 o'clock, um, 24 hours ago. This woman, uh, Diana Raz, was murdered by her police officer husband. She's a mother of four children and she used to work as a couples therapist. And she made this video she posted online, how to recognize signs that you're in a dangerous, abusive relationship. Welcome to איך אפשר לזהות שאת נמצאת בקשר פוגעני, אלים, והרבה מאוד פעמים כזה שמאוד מאוד קשה לזהות שיש פה אלימות, כי בעצם האלימות הפיזית כאילו לא מתקיימת. אני רוצה להעלות, קודם כל אני מעלה את הלייב הזה בעיקר בעיקר בגלל הרצח האחרון ששמענו, לצערי הרב. So she says she's making this film to warn other women of a uh, danger to to recognize dangers um and especially a recent murder זה קשה, כשאנחנו מסתכלים על הדברים, אנחנו פתאום מנסים להבין איך דבר כזה יכול לקרות, זה באמת באמת... זה קשה מאוד לדבר על הדברים, אבל צריך לדבר על זה. אבל זה חשוב לדבר על זה. אני רואה, לצערי, רגע, אני אזוז, כדי שנוכל לראות את הדברים, לראות את זה כמו שצריך. אז באמת... Um, a lot of times we say it's not going to happen to me, it's never going to happen to me. There's a lot of women that can reckon that think they can recognize when it's red light and when it's moving towards a violent place ופצע את הבת השנייה, פצע גם את האימא, ואני מסתכלת על התמונה, אני אומרת, הוא נראה אדם כל כך נורמטיבי. She says that she looks at the photo and, and you see that it looks like a very normal man. How can this happen? So this woman speaks like um, a woman who you wouldn't think she has this at home. You wouldn't think... that she's even close to it. But let me tell you, uh, I cannot believe that there were no warning signs. But sometimes denial works so strongly. Denial is this mechanism that protects us from too much anxiety. So it's one of the, it's called a protective mechanism. And it's also, uh, at the end, it can really harm us. So the mind, how the mind works, or the soul, if you say the psyche, is uh, if something is too much, too threatening for you, you just say, oh, it doesn't exist. Like, let's say if you are, you, you, you have a, a, a sort of situation like a lot of women have where the man is a really nice guy on one hand, but he has like times where he, he has a temper tantrum. And then uh, he's such a nice father and husband. But then every now and then he has like a situation where he's screaming at you. or doing something vi- vicious or disrespecting you. So the mind, in effort not to get overwhelmed by the anxiety, uh, just pretends it's not happening, and that's called denial. So she, something happens, but the mind doesn't register it as a danger. And this is very, very, very dangerous, because it's your subconscious saying, no, it doesn't exist. It's a blind spot that you need in order to exist. To, to stay in a relationship because there's so many good attributes about the person you you don't see you choose your mind chooses not to see what is um, 
in contrast to what you want to believe. You want to believe your husband is a wonderful man, your partner is a wonderful man. So denial works in the way that you see, that you have a blind spot. You cannot see the signs even because you just don't can't live with the contradiction. How can a nice person be so bad to me? So and also the fear of being alone, especially if it's not your first relationship. And this I want to emphasize: if this is not your first relationship. And if you had abusive relationships in the past, red light, you're probably going to repeat it in the next time. You're most probably going to, no, you're most likely, it's most likely that you're going to repeat it in the next relationship. Unless, unless you go to therapy, unless you take time to really sort out, unless you take time to be living alone, just with your kids, without a man. And this, I think, is a good recommendation for all women. You have kids. You've been married before. You've been in another relationship. It was abusive. You suffered abuse. Your kids had to see somebody screaming at you. Don't jump into another relationship because you are at risk. It's like you're pre predestined to, to repeat it because there's something in you that attracts these psychopaths. And it's only because you there's anything wrong with you. It's because there's something wrong with these men and they're attracted to women that have what they don't have, which is empathy. So she's very young. She was 32. She had four kids. I'm assuming she didn't wait that long. I'm not blaming her. No victim blame here. I'm just saying I think this is the pattern of a lot of women. They have one abusive relationship and then they think, oh, I've gone to therapy maybe or I've talked it over and I've Learn the lesson, on to the next guy. The next guy is not going to be bad. I'm smart. I know I can see the signs. But what we don't know is that most of our behavior is dictated by the subconscious. And there's something, subconscious force, that pulls us. If it pulls it, if it pulled us once, it will pull us again. And it comes from such a long way in the past. I'm not qualified. And I don't want to talk about Freudian theories or whatever. But these things go so deep that we cannot just look at the surface there's something beneath the surface that attracts these wonderful women to psychopaths and you cannot just make a video and say hey this is how you're going to identify um a psychopath because it's something that is subconscious in you so what i would like to say to women what i would like to say as somebody who i think can speak about this is girls women Ladies, um, if you were in an abusive relationship, whether it was in your childhood, um, whatever, please, please go to therapy, speak about it, and and don't rush into another relationship. If you had kids with an, one man and you met this guy and you think he's a great guy and you think this time it's going to be different, I know the signs, beware. Because even if you have surface knowledge, like your brain, like registers oh everything is okay the subconscious is dictating to you and you might be in denial so what you should do is just really slow take time if you're in an abusive relationship do not enter another relationship that quickly take your time if you have children take the time to raise those kids and you can do it because if you don't take the time you might be at risk maybe not murdered but to repeat the same abuse again this is an extreme case when a woman is murdered fortunately it doesn't happen as often as one would think it would happen because there's so many so much abuse in marriages but please be aware of it that if you are in an abusive relationship it's like you already have this um how can i say it it's like you already have have this um you already are marked it's like there's something in you that it, that moves towards this these kind of men you have to go to really deep therapy and this is not one year it's not two years it's a lot of years in therapy trying to take apart trying to figure out what combination led to you being drawn towards these men and attracting these men look she didn't do anything to attract this man baby but her personality being very empathetic and wanting to help the helper type 
attracts the psychopaths every time. And there are a lot of lovely women like that. And they always attract these men that have really a lot of problems expressing themselves. They might feel like, oh, they're shy or whatever. But if you happen to be, to have had this experience once, don't think you can handle it again. Go to therapy, take the time, and absolutely do not enter another relationship with a man until you are, until you've put in the time to go into therapy and it's not with an advisor. Sorry, I don't I don't know what she did in training. But in order to be a psychotherapist, a serious psychotherapist, you have to do a lot of training and they, you get supervised. And this is the big difference. This makes a huge difference. I mean even that social worker probably had some sort of supervised uh training and she still not her but another woman was a social worker. There was a psychologist a 